Ollie Rainer joins me here at Lords. Ollie, we're here to chat today about a challenge you're taking on October. Uh, tell us all about it. Yeah, I'm doing the uh, Three Peaks Challenge uh, for the with the PCA. Well, in in sort of conjunction with the PCA, but the uh, the Cricketers Trust and the Tom Maynard Trust. Um, so yeah, I'm not. Uh, not entirely sure what I've got myself into. I've been dodging the great uh, the bike ride for a number of years. I'm not a keen cyclist, I'm not going to lie, but I thought climbing, yeah, I can probably do that, so I'll give it a bash. Well, I can tell you a little bit about what you'll get yourself in for. You're climbing the three highest peaks in Scotland, Wales and England, uh, Ben Nevis, Scaffold Pike and Snowdon. You'll be climbing 3,000 metres, uh, travelling over 26 miles, all over four days. Sounds like a bit of a feat. Is it too late to pull out? <laughs> um, no, it's, look, I think it's a great opportunity to do something that I would never have done before. Um, and, it's, and because it's for a great cause as well, it kind of gives you a bit of an extra spur. I do keep getting weekly updates of what my training regime at this stage should be. I thought, I don't know, standing in the slips, doing a few squats should be all right. So I uh, haven't done loads of training, but you know, my gym stuff that I'm doing at the moment hopefully will prepare me. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, to be fair. Like I say, I haven't done anything like that before. I think I'm probably a bit more equipped to the slow trudge uh, rather than doing anything at any pace. So, yeah, hopefully that suits me. I'm assuming you haven't got a climbing wall at home. Uh, how, no. how do you possibly train for something like this? Well, I've, I have gone up on the roof recently. I had a bit of a, a leak, so I had to do some repointing, but that's about as far as it's gone so far. And, Ollie, you'll be taking on the challenge, I understand, with a number of other cricketers. Um, who in particular are you looking forward to taking on with? Uh, well, mainly, um, so the driving force really behind it was Tom Smith, um, who obviously was here and at Sussex, and, and Ben Brown's doing it as well. Um, as, as most people will be aware, uh, Tom has gone through some hardship in losing his wife, Laura, uh, which you can see a link on the PCA uh, Twitter. Uh, they've done a whole thing with Tom, and that describes that experience. But the PCA, uh, sorry, the Cricketing Trust was massive in helping them through a really sticky time. Um, and yeah, I, Tom asked me, would I be interested? I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll give it a bash. And, and Brown is joining in as well. So, you know, having seen what the, uh, sorry, nearly said Benevolent Fund, it's not, it's the Cricketing Trust now, has, has done to someone very close to me, has really spurred me on to go, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to give this a go and hopefully raise some cash. That's lovely. So, aside of the Cricketers Trust, also the Tom Maynard Trust uh, is another charity that's going to benefit from the challenge. Absolutely. Um, tell us about that one. Yeah, I mean, obviously, another tragic um, you know, sort of chapter in, in, in the cricketing fraternity uh, with losing Tom Maynard far too far too young. Uh, Matt Maynard has set up the trust, um, and that helps young 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 cricketers. I think they run as well a lot of things specifically for cricket, but obviously um, that offers great support, and um, the PCA are, are very big in helping drive that as well. So it's great to be doing it for two two uh, you know great charities. Um, uh, I'm, the only reason I say more about the cricketing trust is because I've seen that more firsthand, um, obviously with Tom. Uh, so yeah, but no, two great charities and a great opportunity to do something like I say that I'd never have done before. So uh, a bit selfish there. I am going to enjoy it. Hopefully, probably not the days after it, but hopefully going through it, be all right. Excellent. And Ollie, how can people support you in the challenge? Well, yeah, I've set up a just giving page. Um, I've got a target which I'd love to reach, and if, if I can exceed it, even better. Um, but there will be a link that will go out on the social media channels that you can click on and any donation would be greatly received. Um, and, you know, if, if, if all the Middlesex fans donate just a pound, you know, we, I've got to far exceed uh, any expectations of my goal. So, um, yeah, no, I hope that people do give generously. It's a, it's a great thing that the, the Creators Trust and the Tom Maynard Trust are doing. And uh, I'm just really happy that I can hopefully contrib contribute to that as well. Well, Ollie, you're a hugely popular member of the Middlesex squad, and I'm sure Middlesex fans will get behind you in the challenge. It sounds like an incredible thing to be taking on. All the best of luck from us at the club. I'm sure fans and members will wish you all the best of luck, and I hope it goes well. Thank you very much. Cheers.